welcome back to my channel hope all people are fine this is the interview question for welding qc inspector qa qc engineer or the qc inspector this is the very important questions uh, for 30 questions are here this is a part two part one it was the uh, 40 question this is the part two the 30 question this is a very helpful question and these are the uh, very helpful for the gulf country those are the beginner those are want to interview at for the gulf this is a very helpful for them so let's start one what are the difference between a pipe and a tube answer pipe is identified by nps and thickness is defined by schedule whereas tube is identified by od and thickness identified by birmingham wire gauge two what is tack weld answer tack weld is the temporary weld to maintain joint alignment all tack welds shall be made by qualified welders Recommended tack thickness is 3.24.8 mm and length is 12.5 to 25.4 mm. The minimum number of tack welds for 3.5 inch and below are 3 equally spaced tacks. Above 3.5 inch 4 equally spaced tacks. Three. What are the different types of fluids in ASME? Explain. Answer. Category D fluid service non-flammable, non-toxic, and non-damaging to human tissues, temp range minus 29C to 186C. Category M fluid service toxic and flammable. High pressure fluid service based on class 2500 rating for specified design temp. And material group. Normal fluid service not subjected to D, M, or high pressure fluid service. 4. From which size onwards NB of pipe is equal to OD of pipe? Answer. From the size 14 and onwards NB equals OD of pipe. 5. What is material receiving inspection? Answer. Match physical condition in field to service condition shown on drawing slash hardware lists. Specification and marking slash color coding and PMI identification of grade. By ASDM spec listed on drawing slash bolting list will give clear rings. Identification of fittings and flanges by correct ratings, sizes, class, schedules as marked on fittings and mill certificates. For the correct scheduling of pipe by a vernier caliper and ensure piping is within tolerances. 6. What are the types of CS and SS pipes? Answer. Carbon steel, ASDM A53GR. A slash B, ASDM A106GR. A slash B slash C. ASDM A333GR1 slash GR6. Stainless steel, ASDM A312TP304 slash TP304L slash TP304H slash TP308 slash TP310 slash TP316 slash TP316L slash TP316H slash TP317 slash TP321 slash TP321H slash TP347 slash TP347H slash TP348 slash TP348H. 7. What are the different types of 304 and 308? Answer. 304 CR 18 to 20 percent, NI 8 to 10 percent. 308 CR 20 percent, NI 10 percent. 8. What four types of inspection action points are found in the ITP and explain? Answer. Hold, witness, surveillance, review. Hold QA slash QC organization shall be notified of the timing of inspection or test in advance. 
Inspection or test shall not be carried out without the QA QC organization representative in attendance. Witness QA QC organization shall be notified of the timing of inspection or test in advance. However, the inspection or test shall be performed as scheduled if the QA QC organization representative is not present. Surveillance QA QC organization to monitor work in progress without notice from construction organization. Review Review and Approval of Documents Zero 09. Why Weep Hole is provided in PAD Answer. Reinforcing pad of welded branch connections shall be pneumatically leak tested with air at 1.75 bar through a minimum of 1 1 4th, 6 mm, Tap vent hole slash weep hole for venting and examined for leaks using a soap solution at a reduced pressure of 0.2 to 0.35 bar. The 6 mm tap vent shall not be located in the crotch of the branch. 10. How to cut a SS pipe and what are the things to be insured before cutting? Answer, stainless steel SS pipes, by grinding or plasma cutting providing internal protection from spatter, slag, etc. Before cutting the pipe, the heat number will be transferred to the cut pieces by low stress die stamping, paint marking, or tagging. Eleven. How to give a gap in socket flange? Answer. Place gap OLED ring at the inside of socket. Gap range is 1.5 to 3 millimeters. If gap OLED ring is not available, measure the socket length. Mark it on the pipe and give 1.5 to 3 millimeters gap during socket welding. Twelve. Flanges are classified based on facing as. Answer. A flat face. FF. B raised face. R slash F C tongue and groove T slash G D male and female M slash F E ring type joint R T J thirteen What is the axial gap to given for socket welding? Answer one point five millimeters to three millimeters maximum. 14. What we check in water analysis and its value for CS and SS? Answer. In water analysis we check the pH value and chloride content of water. For CS the pH value is 7.5 plus or minus 5 and chloride 250 ppm. For SS the pH value is 10.5 plus or minus 0.5 and chloride 50 ppm. Fifteen. Mention the drying temperatures for low hydrogen small electrodes. Answer. 260 to 430 degrees Celsius for 2 HRS min, A5.1. 370 to 430 degrees Celsius for 2 HRS min, A5.5. 120 to 250 degrees Celsius for 2 hours minimum. SS and non-ferrous electrodes. 16. What are the different factors that cause heat? Answer. A sensitive microstructure. A sufficient level of hydrogen. A high level of stress. 17. What is the minimum thickness of pipe that requires stress relieving to be done as per B31.3? Answer. 19 millimeters. 18. What is the function of shielding gas? Answer. Stabilizes the arc roots on the material surfaces. Ensures smooth transfer of the molten metal from the wire to weld pool. Forms the arc plasma. 19. If welder is qualified in 3G position in pipes, he can weld all position? Answer. 3G position in pipe not mentioned in ASME Sector 9. 
The pipe positions are 1G, 2G, 5G, and 6G as per ASME Sector 9. 20. Internal misalignment of butt joints shall not exceed. Answer, 15 mm. 21. Fillet weld profiles. Answer, convex, concave, mitre. 22. Explain E8018. Answer. E electrode. 80 tensile strength. 1 for all position. 8 coating. 23. The preheat shall be established over a minimum distance of. Answer. 75 millimeters on each side of the weld. 24. Electrodes, filler wires, flux which standards to be used. Answer. ASME SEC 2C. 25. What equipment will use to determine oxygen level? Answer. Oxygen analyzer. 26. What is the surface temperature of PT? Answer. 5C to 52C. 27. What is the F number for the filler wire ER70S? Answer, 6. 28. What are the duties of a QC inspector for consumable receiving inspection? Answer. I check the test certificates, TC, of each batch of electrodes for the conformance of parameters with respect to project requirements. To check the availability of labels on each package units, pack or box, and Completeness of the information in them. 3. Check the condition of the package and electrode slash filler wire. If any damage found, it is reported for the corrective action. 4. Check the correctness of the batch no, electrode slash filler wire diameter and other data with respect to the test certificate. A. After inspection, the welding materials are stored in the warehouse or in the Welding consumables control room under ambient temperature. B. All welding consumables shall be stored in racks, off the floor, in such a way as to prevent any physical damage or contamination. Consumables for the use on various types and grades of material shall be clearly segregated by type and size to minimize possibility of error in distribution. 29. What is the exposure time for low hydrogen electrode? Answer. The electrodes may not be exceeded more than 4 hours, the exposure may be extended to 8 hours if the electrodes are continuously stored in a portable oven up to 6.5C minimum. 30. What are the things to be checked in socolets? Answer. All fitting bores are to be concentric within 0.76 mm for all sizes. To prevent cracking of a fillet weld install a 1.5 cardboard washer or withdraw the pipe 1.5 mm from bottom of the socket before welding. Hope you understand all the questions of 30 questions. These questions are very helpful. You understand now. So thanks for watching the video. The part 3 will come soon. There will be also 30 questions. This series will be continuously, uh, it will be very helpful for the all the QAQC engineer or inspector for the interview. So please like, share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video. Thanks a lot.